All right, welcome to another Living Freestyle Adventure. Uh, we're doing an Adventure Travel 1 today. I am fortunate enough to have had a chance to uh, do some traveling in Africa. And that is how I found myself having dinner with elephants. And I thought it'd be fun to share. Uh, basically, uh, to, to kind of cut to it pretty quickly, uh, we, we were kind of traveling on our own at this point. We had a Range Rover. On the top of the Range Rover was a tent and we had a GPS. And basically there were campsites all throughout national parks in Tanzania that we would theoretically get to using this GPS. Uh, and, and when you got there, you just set up camp and then spend the day, you know, looking for animals and all those kinds of things. So we get to our first stop. Lake Manyara. We think we're in the right place. You don't know for sure. It's not like there's signs everywhere. And uh, as I'm prepping dinner, there's this giant green bush next to, not, not too far from the truck, but at, at, you know, reasonable ways. And I heard this huge noise from behind the bush. And I was like, what the heck is that? And so I kind of stepped uh, sideways to kind of get a parallax view from, from what was going on. And as I stepped out and looked past the bush, I saw this, you know, decently giant um, bull elephant. I was like, okay. And so I went back to the truck and I, I told Emma what was going on. And uh, I continued about making dinner while she's starting to stress out. And then sure enough, dude comes out from behind the bush and kind of just meanders through, not like super close. I, I think he was doing his inspections, making sure that we were cool uh, and everything was safe. And so, uh, you know, that's, that's what the video footage I have here, I'll show you in a minute is, uh, where he just kind of comes out while I'm cooking dinner and I just kind of turn to him and I'm like, hey, if this dude comes to us, we're getting in that car. Now, I actually thought I had more footage after this where, because what happened was, I think after he decided it was safe, all of a sudden the rest of the herd came through. And so as more and more elephants came through, Alma just basically goes and hides in the car. And as she's sitting there hiding in the car and I'm outside with the elephants cooking dinner and doing all this stuff, I remember turning to her and saying, hey, if they come at me, you're unlocking that car door, right? Don't, don't leave that door locked, <laughs> like, you be ready. Um, and, uh, you know, all in all, I went about preparing dinner and, and all that stuff, and the elephants actually stuck with us most of the night. You could hear them all throughout the night and everything. And it was, it was just an amazing, surreal experience. Uh, there were no walls, there were no gates or fences, nothing. I was just cooking dinner out there on the ground, trying not to be threatening in any way. Uh, with with elephants, uh, and I don't I don't think I don't think if you, even if I tried to I could have that type of just natural encounter again, um, and so it was amazing, and I'm very lucky and feel fortunate enough to have it. Uh, I did not have to hide in the car. I, I felt pretty good about the the thing the entire time. So, anyways, that's how I found myself having dinner with elephants. <laughs> 